Just about the time Craig Sabata checks back in with his team members in the shop at PCMC in Green Bay, Wisconsin, a member of one of his other teams is heading home. Meet Mason, Craig's youngest son. Together with wife Natalie and older son Jack, Craig leads his home team in helping Mason thrive in spite of challenges. The geneticist called and said that my baby was going to have Down syndrome. Um, it came as a shock because I didn't know um, a lot of people that had special needs. I was scared. We did everything we could to educate ourselves as much as possible. You know, we watched very closely for medical problems. That was one big hurdle that we did not have with Mason. So we could really focus on what kind of opportunities were out there to help him develop and be absolutely the best person that he could be. Mason is high functioning and attends a regular school where he is mainstreamed. I don't think he realizes he has any challenges. I think he thinks he's a, a typical boy. He's able to do pretty much any kind of sport he wants to. We've taken him skiing a couple of times. You know, he loves everything that Big Brother does from a sports standpoint. I had expected maybe some physical limitations. Really haven't seen any of that whatsoever. He's so excited when Craig comes home. Um, right away he wants to show him what he did in school, show him his homework, um, talk about his day if he was a good boy at school. Craig says he draws upon two important skills he's developed as a leader in the Barry Waymiller organization to help Mason reach his potential. One is listening skills and the other is patience. And I've always viewed myself as a very patient person. I really wasn't a very good listener until I took the communication skills class, learned a lot of things from that. So I think, um, you know, taking that away from work has really helped me a lot with Mason. His smile is amazing. He continuously um, lights up the room when he's in the room. Um, he's a jokester. He's really funny. I don't think there's a day that goes by without us laughing at Mason. Loves to be the center of attention. He is full of life. He has two speeds, wide open and asleep. My name is Mason Sabada. You know, I believe Mason has really been successful and able to advance well because of three big things. First of all is Natalie. She spends an absolute ton of time working with him. Really the second piece, the school district that we're in and the areas where he does need special attention, they spend a lot of time working with him. And then lastly, I think is Mason. I just think Mason really has a desire to learn things, to excel at things, to really understand things. And I think because of that attitude, he's able to use the tools that we've been trying to give him. We push Mason a lot. He has a very good attitude and he's willing to try new things. I think with us backing him and continuously pushing him is what makes him successful. And even though it takes the extra time and effort from us, it doesn't matter because he's our son and I want the best for him. Mason, how was your day? Good. Do you have a fun day? Yeah. Did you get all smileys? Mason absolutely idolizes Jack. Andre Barczak is an awesome guy. Jack understands the importance of his role. I think just being a good brother, so like, so he can look up to somebody, because he looks up to me the most, I think. Being a good role model for him, like not doing anything bad or anything. My best Jack is a good friend for me, and um, Jack is a good player, soccer. If we're all having a bad day, Mason over here cheers us all up with his big smile from ear to ear. In Mason's eyes, his family is most important. I want the same thing uh, for Mason as I do for my other son, Jack. Um, I am pushing him to be able to live independently. To have a job, you know, whatever he may be able to do in the future, have him be able to do something, work somewhere, really bring some value. So Mason, have you ever thought about when you grow up what you want to be? Yes, I'll be a uh... Me chef at the TJ. TJ, is that a restaurant? Yeah, it's like a Japanese steakhouse. Hibachi. He wants to be a hibachi chef. Interesting choice of cuisine for a kid whose favorite foods are. I eat her is a uh, two sausage burritos and a hash brown and water. Two sausage burritos, hash brown and water. That's your favorite menu. Yes. That'll be interesting in a Japanese restaurant. <laughs> We always joke we have a college fund for Jack, we have a trust fund for Mason, but maybe we're going to have to use the trust fund to send him to college because he's doing so well. With the encouragement and patience of his devoted parents and brother, We are going to eat this. It's going to be so trash. Future chef Mason is well on his way to success. I had to eat. 